Hi, this is a getting started tutorial for timers and clocks version 1.2. And in this video, we'll take a look at the 3D analog stopwatch. I'll go ahead and add that to the scene. And I'll also create a UI canvas, UI analog stopwatch, and bring that in as a child of the canvas. So now with both of the objects in my scene, I will select the 3D stopwatch and just bring that a little closer to the camera. Just pull it up a little bit. So since this is 3D, it's affected by lighting. Let's adjust the lighting to make it a little bit more visible. The UI, we can switch over to the scene view mode and select it. Here we can switch the tool to scale tool and we can scale this up a little bit. Let's actually just bring it up to here and then we'll switch back over to the move tool and just move it off set a little bit so they're not overlapping. And both of these prefabs work the exact same as the 3D clocks from the previous video. They have their own pivot hand for the minute and the second, and you could replace that cube. It's just a primitive on the 3D object, and you could replace the sprites with your own on the UI object. And you could also replace the faces. There's actually two faces on each of these. For example, the minute hand on the UI I have selected right now. You can offset these and create whatever design you like. They're just kind of centered like a, a simple stopwatch by default. They have an analog stopwatch script. Both of them have the same script and they take a timer. That's from the first tutorial. I'll go ahead and drag and drop that into the scene and let's just leave it at its default 20 seconds and I'll attach the reference to both of the prefabs and we'll press play. See it start at 20 seconds and countdown. And the minute hand didn't move because it's at zero minutes. Let's say we wanted to do 10 minutes. We can change the timer to be 600 seconds and we could press play. And now we could see that it starts on the nine and it's just counting backwards.